Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Because I am. I am very ready for some more Demon Slayer. Today we're going to be doing only two episodes though. So, don't expect too much. <laughs> don't expect four episodes, okay? Two episodes is what you get in today. Episodes 20 and 21. Now, you guys know from my last um, last reaction, I did four episodes, went up to episode 19, which is one of the greatest animated episodes that I've seen in anime, period, to be honest. Um, the UFO table, you know, <laughs> or ufotable, whatever, however you want to pronounce that, um, is just doing an awesome job, you know. Um, they're definitely up there when it comes on to animation. They're really, really going out of their way to make sure that this anime stands out um, as, you know, as greatness, as greatness, man. And I have to say last episode, episode 19, that dealt with family, you know, bonds, connections, man. It's just awesome. It's always awesome to see that kind of stuff portrayed on TV. We don't get to see that on tv that much you get what i'm saying it's more about romantic relationships and stuff like that you don't really get to see family bonds as much as much as it used to be back in the day like you know what i'm saying early late 90s early 2000 now everything you watch on tv is mostly about you know sexual relationships romantic re relationships for most for most of the stuff that you watch i'm not saying that they don't include family and there's um, sometimes but for the most part it's more on that spectrum of things because you know sex sells right so you will more people will more get into that stuff not that i don't enjoy you know watching certain tv shows and seeing that stuff in it um you know what i mean like it's very few shows out there that really portray a sense of family and bond, even if you're not blood related. It's very few shows out there that are still doing that. So to see that as a, you know, not necessarily a trope, but a continued thing that they explore in anime is very much, I love it. I love it because, you know, you need balance. We all need balance. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that very much. So let's dive into some more Demon Slayer and I will see you guys for the review. All right, guys. Um, four beautiful episodes, man. I like the buildup of this anime a lot. I like the build up. Somebody tell me when season two is coming out because I know nothing, probably in nothing major is going to happen. Maybe just some more building on the lore um, for the rest of the season. Um, I did what? I need four more episodes left for me. Uh, no, three more episodes left for me, I think. Yeah, three more episodes left. Just watch 23. That was... interesting to say the least and that's the least you know it's a, it's so it, it's such an enjoyable series till I, sometimes i don't even know what to come under review and say about it because as i said before this anime reminds me a lot of bleach the way how the story is set up not necessarily the the aesthetic the style of it you know um it just reminds me a lot of Bleach because it's kind of like the the same kind of premise in a certain way. Um, the story is they have similarities of how they start out. You get what I'm saying? They do have similarities. So I'm not going to knock it for for that. There are some similarities between this anime and Bleach. Um, some of the story aspects too. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, in some ways, it's very different. But in other ways, there's, you know, very small similarities between the two. Um, but it reminds me uh, um, a lot of the Bleach anime. So, 
We've met the Hashiras, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> Except for Tomioka, of course. Tomioka, he's a goat. You know what I'm saying? He's a goat. He recognized things for what it is. He's the one that brought Tanjiro in, recommended him um, to get trained by the same guy that trained him. So, that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Um, we also found out that um, the guy that trained him, him and Tanjiro, was a former Hashira. I don't think that was information we knew before. We knew he was in the Demon Core, but we didn't know he was a Hashira. Um, you know, I would have guessed, I could have guessed that he was, but, you know, sometimes you just got to make lore tell you stuff sometimes because you don't want to assume anything and then be disappointed. You know what I mean? So, he was a Hashira. The Hashiras, I think in some ways, is kind of like they don't really think for themselves in a way. I don't like how they were. It's not that I don't like them. It's more of how they were portrayed. They all have different personalities, of course. Um, so that's good. That's good that they all give them individual kind of personalities um, that was portrayed during that while they had Tanjiro um, tied up outside before the master came out, right? So they were kind of like showing off, you know, the difference between all of them. I think they're all different. Butterfly girl, she's way too, uh, what is her name? Ochoko, I think, or, or Choro. I don't know, uh, something. I mean, I like her in a weird way. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, she's very creepy to me. You know, and they're, you know, so I'm looking forward to seeing them fight more than anything else to see what they can do. They all have different elements about them. They're all different. They're not all, you know, so I'm wondering if if they're going to have two water Hashiras, if Tanjiro should ever get to Hashira rank or maybe that's foreshadowing of maybe Tomioka is going to die later on in the anime at some point, maybe, and then Tanjiro is going to take his place because maybe Tanjiro is going to end up taking out one of the 12 moons, right? That's what I'm thinking. I'm just spitting stuff here. Um, maybe, but, you know, maybe that by some chance Tomioka is going to die and then Tanjiro will end up being the water Hashira. Because it looks like they don't have any that's like, they don't, you know, they're, they're, they're not like two of a kind. You know, it's always one of a kind in the Hashira. So I'm wondering if that's a staple within the Hashiras. Um, you know, if that's just something that the 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 master did i wonder what the relationship between i wonder if it's muzan that did him did his face like that maybe you know so i'm just spouting here i did not that dude is the the least person in my book the wind hashira i don't know his name i'm not trying to pronounce that long ass shit you know as much as I want to say they're honorable because they respect their master, but they still get to kind of think for themselves. But they have the utmost respect for their master. I wonder why. Maybe he's more saucy than every one of them. Or maybe that's just, maybe it's just out of respect or maybe, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you, you kind of have that kind of ranking system. You know what I'm saying? When it comes on to the military and stuff, because that doesn't say that a recruit is not better at better than a sergeant at doing something it's just out of respect you respect the rank you get what i'm saying so i'm wondering if the same if the same thing here maybe he can do more than one type of breathing maybe maybe that's the case with the master i don't know maybe he can do all of what they can do and maybe that's the reason why you never know um I'm so glad that Nezuko refused. We, I knew that was going to happen. That wasn't something that I I thought she was going to 
r- run at him or anything like that. Um, I knew she was going to refuse. I just see. I wanted to see how she refused. Um, she just turned her head like, mm, no. You know what I'm saying? Um, glad that she can remember not to hurt humans. I'm wondering if she's um, if they're gonna. <laughs> I'm wondering if she's going to get a sword now that she's like a part of the core. I'm wondering if they're going to give her a sword too. That would be dope. That would be dope to see her use her demon blood art exploding blood with a sword, right? That would be dope. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. Um, So it's pretty cool, man. This anime, it gets you really excited that um, episode 21 or was it 20? Was it 20? I think it was episode 20. With with um Tomioka um uh killing Rui. That was sauce. That was sauce. I had to, I had to pull up I had to pull it out. I was like that that was off the chain. That was off the chain. There's nothing more than there's nothing more saucy than when you see somebody gets overpowered in anime, just completely obliterated, overpowered. You have no chance. You know what I'm saying? And as I said before, it's kind of like when, you know what I'm saying? In um, it it just reminds me that the the uh, a lot of the the stuff that they do in this anime because it's too sword fight in animes, okay? That's why it reminds me so much when it comes on to Bleach too. You know, reminds me of that the the, the final fight between Ichigo and Aizen, man. Oof. When Ichigo caught that sort of You ain't ready, bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought Rui bruh and they scaled it too. They scaled it too because it's to show you the difference in the ranks. It's really to show your difference in the ranks with Hashira being the toppy top before the master and them being so saucy. You know what I'm saying? Like they are top level swordsmen, if you will, you know, so I'm looking forward to seeing more, man. This was very, very um, entertaining and I'm loving it. And they're building on the lore of the anime. And that's always good to know. It's pretty cool. So, appreciate you guys. Super excited to to see the end. And of course, I'm going to do the three episodes to end the season next reaction. So, look out for that. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching this anime and giving me positive feedback, man. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Subscribe if you're new. Your boy Terabyte is out. Peace.